This might tie it up. Thought we'd see you. Yeah. Mark, what's happening, man? Great to have you out here. Hey, he should be playing safety. Look at this dude, man. The way he built up. Hey, how would you describe this win and what it meant to the franchise? Yeah, uh, it was a big win for us just coming out here into New York and getting the dub, man. It wasn't an easy one. It wasn't a pretty one, but we got a good one, though. Yeah. Maybe maybe it was described best by Joe Burrow when he said ugly. It was ugly. It was definitely ugly. Yes, it was. But how about your defense tonight? How proud were you of those guys? Yeah, man, they played tremendous football tonight. You know, they, they made stops when we needed them in the most part, and uh, they showed up. That was the biggest thing, man. They showed up this today, and uh, the past couple weeks, they was having that talk about they not showing up, and they did it today. It almost looked like they were trying to play like a boxing one on you. <laughs> like they had guys following you all over the place, and the deep – <laughs> yeah, we're going to take a look at it. <laughs> but, yeah, they following you. These two guys lock you down like you're the jammer on punt team. But you constantly got you got constantly got two people on you. Even the free safety, when they're just playing straight, deep, he's looking at you all the way. He's not looking at the court. Were you frustrated or patient when they were I got to be this? patient during the game, man. You know, I got to be patient. I was pretty pissed right there, of course, you know, dropping a pass. But, um, I got to be patient throughout the whole game, man. They, they expected me to make a play when it comes my way, and I am too. So uh, whenever I get the opportunity, I got to make it happen. T. Higgins, he stepped up. I mean, yeah. he was receiving a lot of one-on-ones yeah. because of all the attention that yeah. you received. Yeah. I mean, we already knew what they was going to do. We had a game plan, We especially what they was going to do today. We already assumed that they was going to have Banks follow T and then put, put Kyle out of my side. So uh, we knew T was going to have a one-on-one matchups all day, and we was waiting for it. Jack was telling me that your quarterback got up to 19 miles per hour today? when he was running. T plus. <laughs> New career record on have that, you on seen that, that before? Nah, Y'all can't tell him that. He's going to be bragging. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to tell him. Hey, let's, let's take a look. Here it is right here when, when he cranks it into high gear. I've really never seen him run like this. Even his arms were flailing a little yeah, bit. He was, hey, break this down real quick. He's a little fast, man. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you got a little something he to him. He saw all the guys on the left side. He just took off. as man to man. Watch him. Watch that left arm right there. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was impressive right there. 19, though. All right. All right, Joe. <laughs> hey, what, what's this year been like? Take us through this year. I mean, I'm, I'm a Cincinnati guy. I know what the expectations yeah. were coming into it. Yeah. Take me inside um, your mind. <laughs> uh, it was a bit of a roller coaster starting off, you know what I'm saying? Just coming in, everybody got to be focused on their job assignments and stuff. Um, so, you know, it was a little roller coaster when we first got there. But um, overall, man, I feel like everybody's still on the same page, ready to execute and work when we first got in the job. And, um, you know, it's just all about executing on game day. That's the biggest thing, you know, having a good day at practice and executing on game day. How were you able to um, come to camp? And obviously you were disappointed about your contract. <laughs> but flip that and continue to stay focused and make plays like you've been and not ha right. really allow it to bother you. Right. Uh, yeah, man, it's, a, it's God's plan at the end of the day. It's all a part of his plan, and he's going to take care of me, and all I got to do is keep going forward and marching forward, man. That's all I can do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, Troy Walters, your receiver coach, he yeah. played for me in Indianapolis, uh -huh. and he gave you the biggest compliment before the game. I was talking to him, and he said, Jamar, every day, even when he wasn't practicing, he was engaged, he was in the meetings, yeah. he's helping the young guys. Yeah. Is, is that just what you do, or was that that's your plan? Uh, that's just what I do, man. I, honestly, I want to get everyone around me better, and there's no other way to do that than to chip in a little bit of my thoughts and for those guys to chip in their thoughts to me. And, you know, that's just one, that's like a team unit right there. That's like, one, like the offense. Everybody got to be on one page. And if I could get a little bit of my – thoughts and from the game to see what I see and give it to the younger guys that haven't played like Andre, you know, he'll be a stud one day. Andre's made some big plays for you exactly, this year, Exactly, he too. did. He did. He's going to be a great guy for us, man. I can't wait to see what he, what he keeps doing. Yeah. One of the most fun parts of watching this team and watching everything you guys have done is this relationship that you have with Joe Burrow. How yeah. has that evolved through the years to where you guys are now? Um, honestly, man, it's, it's pretty fun just being in this opportunity and it's, it's really more fun for me right now not now that I'm getting an opportunity to move around in the whole offense right now and not just one position. Yeah. And um, I think that's what, that's what makes the offense a little more prolific right now, it's just everyone moving around, not just me, myself. So um, everyone got to know the position. I think that's the big thing for us. Mm. Whose idea is that? Is that Joe? Is that Zach? Is that you? Is that everyone? How does that come to I think to that's everybody's thing. I think that's everybody's. Okay. What's the mindset of this offense when you come into a game? I, I know your defense had struggled. Um, is it just to outscore everybody, score as many points as you as you possibly can? Yeah. Um, honestly, it's really just coming out and having a great start first. That's what we preach, and that's what we roll off first. Coming out, getting a great start, filling up with momentum, mm -hmm. and then giving the ball back to the defense and having them with momentum. So that's that's all. That's always been our plan from the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. The other thing that uh, a lot of your teammates were talking about 
even in this one and four start, they said Coach Taylor has been positive and yeah. upbeat. And what would you say about his response to yeah, this? Yeah, he season? has. He has, honestly. Um, he's always been making sure we've been going on top of it. Um, even at practice, I want to say that's that's the most he's really been doing it the most at practice. And uh, when we get the game day, he expects us to execute what we've been doing in practice, uh, especially the guys who move around that's not in the usual spot. So um, he's been he's been doing a great job of picking us up when we're down. What's what's impressed you about with Chase Brown? I mean, this kid when you watch him on tape, he's yeah. fast. He he has great vision. He hits the hole and he's and he runs physically. Yeah, man, Chase is a outstanding player. I can say that and. Uh, he just shows it every day, man. Every day at practice, and then he shows it on game day. So um, I knew last year he was going to be a stud, man, once he took that screen to the house. Defense looked better today, didn't they? What would you see from that side of the ball? <laughs> hey, I told my defense today, I said, y'all showed up. We didn't. So all I like to do was appreciate that, you know? Yeah. So. What was that locker room like you just came out of? Everybody happy right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're in there happy. I'm over there like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gotta get, we gotta do a better job though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that shouldn't be something we should be happy for. I mean, a win is a win in this league. We gotta take it. We gotta take it. But well, the key, I think, the key is celebrating for maybe 24 hours and then yeah. watching the film, getting better, and yeah. moving on, right? Yeah, a thousand percent. Just watching the corrections and watching the uh, the the stuff we got wrong and then making corrections. So that's the biggest thing we gotta do. How good can this team be? be really good man we got opportunity to get to the Super Bowl everyone knows it we already been there we know what it takes to get there yep. so we got to lock in right now and make a run right now this is the mm -hmm. best time to do it yeah tell you what Bengals faithful travel pretty good too didn't they mm -hmm. yeah the biggest crowd is out here yeah <laughs> <laughs> they did and they picked up some good seats too they were down right around the field they were all sitting right here and they stuck around late night all right, we'll hear from the head coach, Zach Taylor. We really appreciate you coming out, spending a little time with us before the flight back home to Cincinnati.